My friend Lawrence commissioned Pierce to do a mural for his new ski lodge. He's going to exhibit it there, and that'll give people a chance to see his style of painting, and voila, more commission. <laughs> well, we'll see. At least I'll get a nice ride through the mountains with uh -huh. mine. Yeah, I know Janet's really excited about it. Is she? Too. Yes. Oh, all right. Mural? Is it a wall? It's huge. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm sorry, we wanted to get here sooner, but I have to take Jamie to the, to the doctor. Oh, is Jamie ill? Well, he had a little touch of the flu, but he's fine now. Oh, he's a tough guy. He's not gonna let the flu get him down, are you? Yeah, I told him. He did, huh? Hey, how about if I paint a picture of you? Would I look like that? Uh, maybe. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Jamie, hey, another helper? This is great. Look, I'm gonna pick this out and put it in your mom's car. So I need you to need a cap. You can leave that there. Just grab that in, buddy. Just grab that in. Oh, it's true. Actually, I would love for you to paint Jamie's portrait if you could get him to stop moving long enough. And when do you slow down? I'd like to finish yours. Mm-mm. <laughs> no, no more posing until I've shed those extra holiday pounds. <laughs> well, if there is anything extra, it uh, looks great. Artists I remember. Trust me, you uh, look more beautiful every day. Come on, you're going to be so busy finishing that mural and, and doing all the commissions that are going to come your way. You're not going to have time to finish my portrait. I'll make time. <laughs> are you going to hang it in some corner somewhere? Listen, <laughs> it's in spite of my wild youth, I have managed to acquire a respectable reputation in this town. Oh. And I think a nude portrait would, would sort of blow that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hang it up in some bar somewhere. Besides, I'd, I'd hope that it would show more than just skin. Hmm. My inner beauty? <laughs> no, I mean, you know, your, uh, your... My soul. Your indefinable whatever it is that fills a room when you walk in. Exactly what I asked for when I commissioned it. Finished it, Riley. I'm having special lighting put in my living room to highlight it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious. I most certainly am. It's, it's uh, a recessed lighting. It's soft, it's subdued, but you'll be the first thing people look at when they enter my home. Me nude in your living room. Well, tasteful. <laughs> Beautiful. And slashed to pieces if I ever see it there. I know you'd never hurt an original Riley, but if it makes you uncomfortable, I'd gladly hang it in the privacy of my bedroom. Better? Why did you drop by, Adam? <clears throat> uh, I wanted to see how Jamie is. Jamie is fine, thank you. He's in the back with Scott and Laura, and they're loading up my car. Come look at the neat icicles I found. You found icicles? Oh, show me. What are they? They must be some big ones, huh? Well, Adam, have you come to wish Pierce good luck? Luck with what? Well, his exhibition up at uh, Mount Evangeline. You know, that's the New England's Aspen with the galleries, ski shops, and... Yuppie heaven! <laughs> yeah, Pierce will be on exhibition? Won't that be heaven? Uh. Yes, a friend of mine has commissioned him to do a mural in his chic ski lodge. A mural? Well, that mm -hmm. could take months, Pierce. How many? Well, that's one reason we're going up, to work the details out. We? Yes, Brooke's going with him. She's known Lawrence from way back. Great idea. <laughs> well, well then, happy trails. Be sure to wear your long johns, both of you. Vermont winters can be brutal. Thanks. I'm still surprised at all of this. What, with the exhibit? Oh, well, the exhibit, commission, Vermont. A year ago, I was living alone in a cabin, you know, paying just for me. Certainly, I'm an artist, a one-man show, whatever that means. Oh, trust me, this is just the beginning. You know, you are creating such an incredible response. And you shouldn't be surprised. Your, your, your work is so unique. I'm surprised at life and at me. I didn't think I'd feel this way again. Like what? For the first time in a long while, I... I, I feel like I'm thinking ahead, not just living for the day. I know what that's like. You know, it's nice when the future comes back. Listen, you, you shouldn't question it. You should just enjoy it. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I think you deserve all this. I do know who to 
thank for all this. Thank you. Can I come in? Not unless you're selling cookies. Feel free, Adam. Janet, what is the matter with you? I think I'm going to get Pierce to set some mouse traps, big ones. Did they give you a lobotomy when they did the plastic surgery? Or maybe some space invaders have taken over your body. That's it, and you're a pod person. And the real Janet Green is up in space, somewhere whirling around in the mothership. You got a new problem, Adam? You do, but you don't seem to grasp it. Could you be a little more specific? Whatever happened to the legendary Janet Green? who could outwit and outmaneuver the population of Pennsylvania. What she wanted, she got and she kept. You cannot be her. All you can do is stand around in your kitchen here cooking carrot stew. Maybe, maybe there's something in the water? A lack of animal protein in the diet, maybe? You just love to hear yourself talk, don't you, Adam? Your sister, Natalie, was second only to the mounted police in the pursuit and capture of men. You can't even keep one measly Neanderthal home and happy. The new improved Janet Green. I don't let every little glitch stop me from ultimate victory. She'll be back in my life before she knows it. No, oh, please. Do you actually listen to yourself? At least I try to hold on to my own. And that's just your problem. Because Brooke is too smart and too fine a woman to be a mere acquisition of the great man. People don't like being owned, Adam. Pierce is obviously attracted to Brooke, and he's obviously interested in spending more and more time with her. Pierce loves me. Get it? <laughs> Does he really? Has he told you that? <sighs> oh, dear, dear Janet Green, or whatever extraterrestrial entity has taken over your body, you can fantasize till the cows come home, and it isn't going to get you what you want. Only action do that. What are you going to do, Adam? Whatever it takes. Oh, please don't thank me. No, you got the ball rolling. I mean, you asked me to donate my artwork for your auction. And, I mean, if you hadn't taken an interest... I... Listen, the world would have found you anyway, eventually. But you found me first. You gave a chance to an eccentric that... Oh, you think living in a cabin makes you an eccentric? Well, that and the fact that I haven't let anyone into my life for years. You know, you don't have to be a hermit to do that. After my daughter died, I... I... built walls inside of walls. I didn't let anybody close to me because I... I didn't want to have the pain of losing somebody again. What finally brought the walls down? Time. And a lot of wonderful people who didn't stop loving me. Yeah, there are some people that are put on the surf to help others, aren't there? You're a very sweet, special lady. A very eccentric guy. Okay, Captain. Everything <clears throat> is loaded. Would you care to inspect? You got it. Let's go. Oh, hello, Phoebe. Is uh, Brooke here? Oh, you just missed her, Adam. She's gone to drop Jamie off at home. Did you come by to wish her bon voyage? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Uh, this seems like a very promising trip, something Brooke is probably very excited about. Oh, it's a wonderful opportunity for Pierce. He is so talented. Couldn't happen to a nicer fellow. Yeah, yes, and, and, and a really an extraordinary fellow, too. All that brooding, all those years out in the woods like that. What a character. <laughs> I, bet, I bet there's going to be a lot of interest in all that now that he's becoming famous. Oh, yes. You know, it's really lovely the way life works out sometimes. 
after all the pain he's had in his oh. life and uh, well that troubled background oh, really? now he's finding his way back to the world mm -hmm. well i hope he's not too shocked by us here in the wicked valley of the pines <laughs> oh, i'm afraid there's very little left in this world that could possibly shock pierce oh, riley really oh yes well, something about that troubled background hmm. I think all that time in that hospital must have helped him somewhat, oh, though. Really? Mm. really? It was uh, something that happened in the war, perhaps a veteran's hospital? Well, actually, it was certainly are full of a lot of questions. But the man is fascinating. And I've already told you quite enough. In fact, too much. Good day, Adam.